All right, we are hosting an online match right now. Let's see how that goes. I wonder if I can host an online match and stream live. I think my internet would explode, but we'll see how this goes. We're playing a subscriber, so shout out to him for jumping on, and uh, we'll let commentator David take over. We'll try and edit this down. It'll be a pretty long match. All right, got an interesting one for you today, and I knew I was pretty screwed right after this. I'm playing a subscriber in this uh, little uh, stroke play 18 holes around Yellowstone National and we're jumping right into it and uh, I played okay on the front nine had some really bad blunders and stuff on the back nine and we'll obviously get to see all that I'm showing his shots as well and uh, the guy can hit it um, he's pushing like 165 ball speed 170 ball speed and really moving it out there so the the drives eventually catch up to me um, quite an advantage here he hits a pretty good shot in, just goes a little long I believe he has a Garmin R10 as well so it's a pretty fair fight as far as equipment and I come up with a really good first uh, sequence there for an opening birdie He may not have a Garmin R10 now that I think about it. Just a GS Pro user, I think. Par 3 second was 224 from the tees we played. Uh, I think they were the blues, but we both did the same thing. Pulled it left. Him in the bunker comes up short, so actually have a chance here to save par and I come up short and bogey immediately so unfortunate there he's also gonna do that so we go bogey bogey um, you go 165 five on this shorter par four third and he's up there within about 50 and yeah, you can see my face. I'm like, oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to really get after it. And I hit a pretty good drive for me. Like, dead straight. 265. Like, that's pretty good for me. Uh, we'll have 124 left. Tried to hit a draw in there, but did not. Distance was good. Just didn't quite turn that sucker over. From 52, he also pars, so, so far we're even, 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 even through three. His next shot, he's going for the green. Two, 340 carry, which is nuts. I get lucky, like I aimed not at these geysers. Um, Luckily, they let me hit from the geysers here, 110. And I hit that really good. 108 carry on the raw, but it, out of the deep rough, I didn't get quite as much uh, flight on that. He comes up short again on the chip. Then gets the next one in. And we are still even. 168. He's still got the T box. Good shot, middle of the green. Little kidney green here at the fifth. Par three and 168. The pin's over there in the right. I thinned it. And that was just a terrible swing. I looked really off balance there. I'm going to need some help. No. Bogey there, plus one. He's plus one with a long putt. He crushes this. 2400 spin, 168 ball speed, 350. Like, yeah, all right. Uh, 
I'm barely getting it out there. It's a par five. I was never going to get there in two anyway at 540. Um, so he, big advantage for him on this hole. It's going to be a three wood for me. Kind of sprayed it out to the right. And hopefully not in front of this tree. Lucky for me, he goes out to the right and long from about 180. And I still have a chance for a birdie if we nestle that one up close from about 54 away. And the par fives, we don't have the distance, but we're able to birdie anyway. And he did not make it in there. So he's now plus one. So we are winning at the moment. And then I go three putt immediately for a bogey. Not even close. He doesn't hit a great one either. But he's going to be within a par. And so we're tied again. Hole goes to him. It actually is a pretty good match up until, I don't know, the 10th the or something. We can watch me kind of fall apart here. <clears throat> actually thought that was a decent drive, but that was quite a long distance to carry here on this par 4. 200 left, and I pushed it out towards the water. Just didn't really commit to the turnover. <clears throat> he was way up there, but also came up short and right. And then came up short again, so he's going to bogey again. And I need to get it back there to par. And I cannot. <laughs> I look like an idiot throwing the ball around. So we both bogey again. We're plus two, plus two. We're both right in there. This hole, I can't believe he carried this bunker. Um, 306 yard carry. It's quite the line. You can see me getting the front foot off the ground and trying to go. <laughs> I'm like, it's not helping. I'm actually swinging slower. So smooth is fast. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast, or I don't know what it is. Trying, <coughs> excuse me, trying to get it back there. Not necessarily doing so. And then he hits a pretty good one just outside of the birdie range. So we push on that one. Plus two, plus two. He takes a crazy angle. Thought he was going to draw. He gets lucky that he carries it 344 down the hill. I think I actually hit a pretty good one. Didn't quite get the ball speed, but spin low enough and 115 left is fine. Should be able to hit this close. Got lucky, actually. It's a par. <clears throat> but got lucky, and then he hits a good one, I think. Yeah, takes a good bounce. Forward up. He's got the lead now on 10. Hits an absolute cracker. 11 launch. Another 300-yarder. I'm just <laughs> I'm just taking like looks like chip shots after his the ball flight and everything. It's pretty sad. Uh, I think we're gonna rematch too, like tomorrow in real time. But let me know if you're interested in the rematch. If you want to see more matches on the channel, I'm fine playing a match um, to show the course. This was the first time. Either of us had played Yellowstone. And it's a pretty cool course. We can talk about that for a second. We got the geysers everywhere. 
Look at the alpha in the distance, just kind of puffing up with smoke. It's got a river running through it in multiple places, a couple bodies of water, some really big bunkers. It's a pretty cool course, got a whole bunch of stuff going on, um, and is fairly accurate to the area, I would say. So I'm in shambles after 11, we're plus three. He's birdieing um, everything in sight, and then hits, I'm sure that was like a seven iron or something for him. I hit a decent one, but of course, why wouldn't it just run out into the rough? And then from 84, I think he sticks this close. Why not? Just <laughs> back to back to back birdies, I think. And then I pulled it. It's a par, but everything's looking... Uh, a little worse compared to this guy. I even thought that I could probably go for this green. He probably hit, I don't know, five iron or something stupid. Got all the way back there. I'm, of course, got to hit driver. Somehow misses that tree. Somehow misses that tree. And we're safe. 50 away. And we screw it up brutally short he's only got a chip shot it doesn't get there thankfully he's gonna par and then I gotta find seven it would have been nice to dunk that and just like got one back there but still plus three this one another big downhill that was another cool part about Yellowstone we got a bunch of elevation changes there's a good look at it look at that Twenty eight yards away for him. Like I'm playing that all day. I'm happy with that. <laughs> and uh, it's just not even in the same realm. Oh, come on. That was a misread. If you look at the video, the ball goes straight and it read it as like a complete yank um i don't get the next one there and so oh. i bogey when i really shouldn't have i think that could have been a birdie let alone at least a par if that chip goes straight um i don't know i think i think i'm going to start replacing a few of my old rct balls I'm wondering if they have some wear and tear on them that's affecting that because it has it happens again in this round and it may just be because I'm playing online and there's more going on and the the fans are running higher and there's internet going and whatever but um, it was <clears throat> a little strange to have that one happen and then another one Pretty rare for me, I will say. <laughs> I've taken driver on every hole. That one wasn't great. He hits a bad shot, so like an opening. I go to plus three and he goes to plus one. I mean to minus one. And maybe we got something. Instead, come up super short. 8.4 away. He actually, is he save par? No, nope, he gets a bogey there. So look how straight that was. Putted that boy. <laughs> sure looked like a putt across the green, didn't it? So that's a double where it should have been a par. I think I par that if it's just read correctly. And so I think I'd be at plus three. And it'd be plus three to minus one. And it wouldn't be that bad. But now I'm all flustered and frustrated. And I left the face wide open. Kick it out to the right. There's only two more holes left to go. I top it and then throw the club. Because that's healthy. And then uh, the, other, <laughs> the other guy's texting me going, You alright bro? You okay? I'm like, not really. 
46. I just wanted it to read it correctly. I wanted to make it too. That would have been pretty good. But we'll take the par on 17. We go to 18. He gives it one more. Uh, got it almost up to 170 there. I was hoping he crept on the green, did an auto three putt. That would have been kind of justice. Like, oh, you hit it too far. I actually hit a good one. There you know, got it within a hundred. I, I wanted to birdie this so bad, and I chunked it. It's actually a bogey, also. So, I go plus seven at Yellowstone. Three of them of which were not really my fault. So a plus four is probably a normal round anyway. And then he goes uh, minus two, 69. Shoots a 32 on the back with five birdies. So we were even through nine, and then he demolished me. And that's how it went over at Yellowstone National. If you want to play, hit me up on Instagram. Peace.